Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you 8 different ways on how to achieve this super elegant classic look of raffia nails. I'm hoping that I'm saying it right, I don't know, but I'm gonna say ruffian. I've been planning to do this video for about 3 years, but I never got around to do it and I'm so glad that I finally did. This is actually the first time that I've ever done a raffia nail design and so these techniques are just stuff that I thought that may work and maybe not, so we'll see. For more how-to nail art 101 videos, you can watch this playlist here. For those of you who don't really know what are raffia nails, it's basically some kind of backwards French manicure, but the tip part is near the cuticle. Now let's get started. First, you need to have a base color. The base color can be either one of the two colors, depending on the techniques that you're using. I'm gonna divide this video to two parts, each part with different base, and don't worry, both parts are gonna be in this video. And part one is the ruffian color as the base. Starting with method number one is the classic way, which is just using the nail polish brush. Start, of course, with the ruffian color as the base, and basically paint your nails two millimeters lower, as if you're painting a shorter nail, to create a thin, rounded ruffian shape. Make sure that you're painting your nail in the exact shape that you painted the base color, which is supposed to be in the shape of your cuticle. Also, make sure that you do it opaque enough, but also not too thick, so it will dry. If it's not opaque enough, just add a second coat. And now here are the pros and cons. It's technically free because you're just using the nail polish brush and nothing else, which also makes it a no tool method, which is great. It's really easy if you know how to paint your nails according to your cuticle and it's super quick. But if you don't have a steady hand and you don't know how to paint your nails perfectly without fixing it, then it's not the method for you. And if you want to know how to paint your nails perfectly, watch this video. I also have an old video, but I think that the new one is better. It won't have an even look on all of your nails, and what I mean by that is that this is some way freehand, and freehand isn't perfectly calculated or whatever. And lastly, it technically uses more polishes than other methods, because if you think about it, if you're using one to three coats for the base, depending on the opacity, and then you paint over it like one, two, or maybe three coats to make it opaque, then it comes to like six coats of polish. I mean, it doesn't really bother me, but I just wanted to put it out there. So moving on to method number two, nail veil or liquid latex. I've been using this nail veil for almost five years now and I absolutely love it when I'm doing things like this. I mean, it's good for when you do like a gradient, but it's perfect when you have to do detailed things on your nail for, a, you know, coverage and stuff. This nail veil is by Colorful Nails and it has a thin long brush that you can use it for detailed coverage. I don't really think that I've seen anything like it anywhere, but if you do find, then great. So what you're gonna do is just apply the nail veil exactly on how you want the ruffian to look. Do it slowly and don't rush it, and if you just mess it up, you can easily scrape it off, but if it dried, then you can just peel the entire thing off and start over. Wait until it's completely dried and then apply the polish on top and quickly and carefully remove the nail veil, revealing your perfect raffia nails. And here are the pros and cons for this method. If you're good with freehand, it's easy, but it will be a bit tricky if you're not good at it. I love using nail veil, so it's fun to do, but of course it costs money and it isn't a no tool way. Also, like before, it won't have an even look since it's freehand. It takes some time since the nail veil has to dry, but it doesn't take that long to dry. And like before, it does use more polish than the rest. Next is method number three, vinyls. For this particular method with vinyls, you can only use French stickers because you need the shape of the inside of a circle. The outside will come later. For this method, you need to start by applying top coat on your nail so the vinyl won't ruin the polish underneath. I didn't apply top coat with this method because I was using the footage for this video explaining on how to use nail vinyls. Make sure that you watch it for more details and explanations. So anyways, after you apply the top coat, make sure that it's completely dry before applying the vinyl. Put the vinyl on your nail and make sure that it's stuck properly and then just apply the polish and quickly remove the vinyl before the polish dries. 
And the pros and cons for this method are, with this, unlike previous methods, your nails will always look the same, depending, of course, if you put the vinyl as the same distance as the rest. It's super easy to work with and absolutely zero skills needed, which means it's perfect for beginners and it gives a perfect crisp look. But of course, it costs money and it's not a no-to. It takes time and to plan a bit ahead because of the top coat and also if you don't want to use the top coat you still have to wait for the polish to be completely dried and like the previous ones it uses more polish next is method number four DIY stickers or decals or whatever you call them for this you should measure the size of your nail and paint a slightly smaller nail shape with the base color on a plastic bag and let it dry for a few hours for a full explanation on how to do DIY nail stickers or decals watch this video after it completely dried, peel it off gently and measure it on your nail. If it's the right size, great, but if it's too big, you can always cut it. Or if you didn't measure it because you had to go to sleep before a 12-hour night shift like me, then you can either fix it by applying polish on top or just redo it. What you need to do is apply a thin layer of clear polish on the nail and just stick the sticker on and remove any excess with nail polish remover and a brush. And here are the pros and cons for this method. It's free because you probably have a plastic bag at home and it totally counts as a no tool. You don't need any skills except for good eyes and a brain. Super easy to work with and totally perfect for beginners. I love making DIY stickers so it's super fun and you can be more precise with this. But obviously it takes way too much time for a simple raffia nail design because you have to wait a few hours just for the sticker to dry. And also you need to plan ahead because it has to dry and also it uses more polish than the rest. And yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. How can you say it uses more polish than the rest if you set it in every single one? Well, that brings us to part two, using the other color as the base, which is the base as the base. First is method number five, using a nail art brush. All you have to do is choose a nail art brush of your choice and just paint the raffian shape thing with the color of your choice. If you get some on your skin, just clean it up. The pros and cons for this method are, it's really easy if you're good with freehand, but if you're bad at it, then it's hard. Also, it's quick if you're good with freehand, but it takes some time if you're bad. And also, it gives you more control and precision, and it uses less polish than the previous methods. See, I told you it wasn't pointless. The reason why it uses less polish is because you're only using the base polish uh, for most of the surface and then you use a tiny bit of the other polish for the raffian shape but of course since it uses tool then it costs money next is method number six nail veil or liquid latex same thing as before but this time you outline the raffian shape instead of filling it with the nail veil After it completely dried, apply the polish and quickly remove the nail veil. And the pros and cons for this method are, well, they are pretty much the same as the previous nail veil one. We have easy to work with if you're good at freehand and hard if you're bad at it. It's fun to do, but costs money and uses tools may not always have an even look and take some time to dry but the only difference is is it uses less polish next is method number seven vinyls this is almost the same as the previous one but with this method you can use the outline of a circle unlike the previous one that you could only use the inside of it that means that you can not only use a French sticker, but you can also use a band-aid or just a regular rounded sticker. So of course apply top coat and let it dry completely. This time I actually did use top coat, I just forgot to film it. Then just put the sticker on the nail, leaving space for the raffian shape. Then fill it with the color of your choice and quickly remove the vinyl. 
And now the pros and cons for this method are the same as the previous final method. It will always look the same. It's super easy to work with, zero skills needed, perfect for beginners and gives a perfect crisp look. But also it costs money, you need tools and it will take some time and you need to plan ahead. But with this one, it uses less polish. And last but not least is the, the worst. Method number eight, DIY sticker. Do the same thing as before, but paint a curved thickish line with the ruffian color. Wait a few hours until it completely dried and then peel it off. After that, measure it on your nail and as you can see, it doesn't really want to cooperate with me and it keeps falling off. Next, try to cut it so it will look good on your nail and man, that was difficult. Apply a bit of clear polish near your cuticle and stick it on. Yikes, that looks bad. And here are the pros and mostly cons for this method. It's free, it's a no tool, and it uses less polish than the rest. But of course, it takes some time, you need to plan ahead, and it's super hard and well, kinda dumb, and it will probably turn out super bad. But of course, I had to do this method because I always do this type of thing. Well, here are all of my methods. I hope that I covered it all. And if you can think about anything else, then leave it down in the comments below. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed. I loved making this video and all these types of videos. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.